Hello everyone and welcome back to Dishonored. This is episode four. Last time we were going through the distillery district and exploring, taking everything in, having a good time. And uh, we're continuing that same mission here today for episode four, uh, going to target Overseer Campbell. Uh, so this is the second part of this mission that I had to split into another episode. Uh, so strap in, hope you're ready, and I hope you enjoy episode four of Dishonored. Twelve. Cannot see. This is a place to hide. There are rats down here. Okay. Potentially a way to bypass this wall. The doom of Pandesia has come to the city. Well, is it on? What's it? I heard you got eaten alive at cards. Hopefully you don't get eaten alive at rats. I have a feeling that this pathway... Hmm, I don't know. There's rats and they are very curious. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Alright, I missed my I missed my jump, unfortunately. It was not meant to go this way, lads. It was not meant to go this way, I swear to swear. Oh, I swear it was not meant to go this way. Oh, it was not. Oh, I was not meant to go this way. I was supposed to make my jump and not land on me fucking ankles and break them. Why is there a fucking toilet with an elixir in it? The river rushed in when the barrier broke. The whole district went dark. Is this a guard or a worker? Thug. Thug. Gaff Street. Cold as a whaler's calf here. Fifty years old at least. This guy fought for the Empress. Forget his old ass. I can't even remember him. We tagged it planes. And the Clavering Street is ours. Come on. What's the take? Twenty. Plus two elixir. Look like twenty-five to me. Look here. It's twenty. It's five each, Countin' Boo. You want me to check your pockets? Let it go, kid. Don't call me kid. You think you can cheat me? Well, well. Oops. I have blinked my way into combat with you guys. Um, hello? Uh, this was on, not meant to happen this way. Keep fighting amongst yourselves, please. I pressed the wrong button on my controller I have. Yes. Oh, my ankles again. Uh, this was not meant to happen this way. I'll feed you to the rats. The rats of the alleyways are my friends and they will, they will do away with you. Oh no, they're coming for me instead. There we go. Ha ha. Have at you, try your best. There are rats here if you dare. Ow! Oh, oh, that was mean of you. Do not do that. The rats are not my friends. Ow! <laughs> That's... And now they're getting eaten by rats too. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I was not meant to blink right into a fucking group. Oh my god. Alright. Huh? Huh? Don't do it, Chief. It's not worth it. These footsteps are mighty close to my ears. Oh, all right. This is the way that we're going around. This time without blinking into a fight. 
his mother still walks the streets of this district. Alright, we'll let these guys have their fight. Cold as a whaler's gaff hand. Fifty years old. He is a coin. This guy fought for the Empress. Forget his old name. Okay. Blink. We tagged it plain. Blink. Your Clavering Street is ours. Come on. What? Look like 25. The river rushed in when the barrier broke. All the district went dark. There's a guy in there. got a rune I now have three now I'm thinking I'm thinking summoning a swarm of rats that will attack others then disperse after a short duration and it will also consume corpses now I think that that will count as me killing right it feels like it but we can allow control of animal targets for a short duration so such as a fish or a rat even a fish for a limited duration an unobstructive path to your target this power is useful for stealth you can hide in small places or move through spaces normally through small few water field drainage pipes enemies will try to stomp you if you're possessing a rat while possessing a hound you can sprint fast okay your control of humans is limited combat or fast movement is not possible possessing a human allows you to perform simple actions such as collecting objects or opening doors allies of the human you are possessing will not attack you and security devices um you are you know attuned to the human you're possessing will not harm you if you are falling possessing an animal or human on the way down will effectively break your fall very interesting um so you can't use rats to go and like pick up like keys or something and bring them back to you maybe? I don't know. Um, God, it's, it's tempting, but we're going to increase our movement speed. Unfiscated rune. Corporal Meadows, we found this strange rune on the woman who used to sell pastries up the street. Not sure how she died, but since the thing looks superstitious, we set it aside for the overseers. After your shift is over, take it to them for disposal or whatever they do with them. Don't forget. Okay. Now, we've got to get to Holger Square. What are we looking at here? We've got one, two, towards this gate. Might have to put some fellas to sleep here. Ooh, the alarm. Oh, that's the alarm thing. Okay. I accidentally pressed X twice. So we've deactivated the alarm. So that's nice, just in case. Um, that is a rewire tool used. I want to check out around the side here before we end up doing what we're doing. These guys are investigating. Overseers for some black magic nonsense. Another night, another patrol with these going peeing. Uh, we're gonna see where this goes just for fun. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, stupid. What is this? I better make a pass over here. <coughs> Ah, uh, someone's discovered the body on the side here. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, he's discovered the body. Which I did try to hide it off the path, but probably not the best hiding ever. Good. Oh, I'll find you. Who are you now? I'll find you, you hagfish. <laughs> All right, we're going in to Holga Square. Proceed to the High Overseer's office. There we go. We're in. Eliminate High Overseer Campbell. Speak with Overseer Martin in Holger Square. Okay, Emily. Hello, Martin. I hear the second day is when the skin really starts to come off. Is that true? Or is <laughs> That's bad timing. My controller. Alright, back in. That really gets you. Or the rats. Jasper, isn't it? That's not so bad in here. Except I miss your wife. Ha! Huh. You don't scare easy, I'll give you that. That'll change. Even though he whispers the prayer against the witchcraft, we can hear it. Good night. Me. What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do, and I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. There are a few brave enough to laugh in the outside of space. I have poor circulation, but I seem to have forgotten my mittens, so I'd appreciate it if you could release me or at least go gather some fire. Do not, Do not be deceived, deceived by his talk of strictures. Martin's crimes weigh heavy on his spirit. You never appreciate the fine masonry of Dunwald's cobblestones until you've had your face hanging over them for days on end. Nothing would make me happier than joining you and the others, especially if they've tapped some of the finer kegs still left at the pub. <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal, his notorious black book, and get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerr now, and word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully he gets out of there okay. And meanwhile, we have to prevent uh, Kerno from getting... A poisoned. I was just reading in the archive about the heretic's brand. It sounds painful. Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretic's brand used. The heretic's brand. But I did spy the face of one so branded. 
with a member of our order, of course. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him begging. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an overseer, or even the high overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. Remember the seven strictures, and you never need worry about such matters. I will, brother. Ah, my shit figure. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Never doubt it. Never doubt it. That was a risky blink. Colonel's visit. Wayland, Captain Kerno, <coughs> and his retinue will be here this evening. See that they are allowed through the checkpoint without incident. I would like him in a fair mood when I have drinks with him in the meeting chamber. Also, be prepared to defend the checkpoint from the inside should things go awry with negotiations. Not that I expect they should, but I want your overseers prepared in case Kerno and his men live up to the City Watch's reputation. You'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Indeed, I believe so. <clears throat> Lay your way, pathways. There are many pathways through your missions. Okay, this time it's being like, hey, you got stuff to do, but we won't tell you what. So that's better. Okay, we're in Holger Square. Branding instructions and the meeting chamber. from below. <sighs> Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Yes, of course. Okay. Interesting. The hounds. Let's go to the kennel. Do not let your keen eyes wander tonight, boy. Campbell being the Captain Kerno. There's word of bad men about. Oh. Here's a good boy. Look at the hounds. Good boy, Justice. Justice. So we could go through this way. Oh, if we... Mm. This is probably not a good idea because we do not have possession. Settle down, man. It's only me. Boreal's gone to the flooded district and all the rest of them. So it's just me tonight. What? Don't look at me like that. 
Um, I think, because we can go to the meeting chambers this way. Uh, I think what we should do is we should go to this branding instructions. I think that's in the building, the big main building too, okay. So perhaps the hell, oh, okay. I can go in here. Perhaps the kennels are just a way to bypass some things, but we'll go in here. Two runes nearby. I don't see Camel's journal anywhere, brother. This is folly, I tell you. If he catches us in here, I've told you a hundred times. Campbell is upstairs meeting with the captain of the watch. He'll be busy for hours. Now keep looking. And I've told you a hundred times, Archer, that I am certain he keeps the Black Book on his person at all times. We went to the trouble of breaking into Campbell's sanctum for nothing. Shh, listen. What was that? You can stay and find out. I'm, not... I'm wondering if I can. Mm, I don't. I can't blink through those bars. But that's interesting. Okay. Am I able to? I wonder if I'm able to get in here. Okay. Might have to get in there another way. Really going through the main doors. Hello, everyone. I'm just gonna go in here. Ring the alarm bell. Oh my God. Hello. Hi. Front door, baby. He is patient, for he waits every hour and every day of our lives for a moment of weakness or carelessness. Oh. Okay. Hold on. I keep creating new saves instead of you want uh, re overriding old ones. Hi. Okay. This guy's just standing there. Just staring at the rat. <laughs> For such a young lady is easy prey to the outsider, if not already within his grasp. Watch her carefully for signs of it. She may fall into fit, or be heard speaking to the end. <laughs> oh god. I've, it's really tense in here. Okay. Alright, there's the kennels. Can I blink with a person? I can. In her bed clothes. Be wary. Fuck it now. Why not? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Right now. Hey, wake up. Hear me? Whoa. 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 It's gonna be Whoa. Holy shit. So I dropped the body. Dropped the body. They immediately like freak out. Where are you? Run to the body, and I just blinked out of there in time. I won't be catching this rat bastard. Holy shit! Okay, we are here. The archive is there. 
Okay, so I have to actually go... Cool, so I'm in the right spot. I go through this door, then we can go around to the archive for this optional objective. In the meeting chamber, we can quickly dodge around. If he comes back, I'll earn another promotion. Where have the overseas gone? They wade through chest high waters with their hounds. Just taking his last breath. His eyes are still open. Ugh. That's terrifying. Where's this person gone? Oh, there? Get caught in the lockdown last night. Sick. A fucking hell. Search the place top to bottom. And nothing to eat but the swill we hand out free. Of course we didn't find anything. Did I ever tell you, one time one of the second floor shutters got stuck open, and I thought I could slip out? I couldn't find a way down. By the time I got back, it had snapped shut. Back to the beginning. Nice. Okay. There's a lot of people around here. The heretic brand is reserved for those overseers who have committed heinous acts against the order, but have not broken codes that would otherwise result in execution. No contact, aid, or shelter can be given to one bearing the brand. That person is forevermore unwelcome to the Abbey and its affiliates. When used, the brand is applied to the forehead so all can see the sins of the recipient. The chemical compound acts immediately, scarring the heretic for the remainder of life. The interrogation room here at the office of the High Overseer stands ready for branding ritual. Should the need arise, the recipient must be strapped into the interrogation chair and restrained as the brand is applied. The heretic brand itself is stored in the same room. Rest of it was Martin's plush to break him out of cold Maybe the outsider was Non-lethal. Render High Overseer Campbell unconscious. Oh, we're gonna brand High Overseer Campbell. Disclosure Log 965. Dylan Jacobs. Admitted violations. Theft of neighbor's food. Recourse. Half wages to be given to neighbor for a month. Millicent Ridgeway, violations adultery, one year in service to the order. Robert Young, spying on his neighbor as she bathed, public humiliation in the stocks for two days. He's as skilled as they say. Got through there with half the watch looking for him. Is that help? Yes, but how far does it go? The trail goes to Martin, but Martin knows everyone, everywhere. Third stricture. Restrict the restless hands. I think this one we already read. <sighs> Confiscation log 2749. Archibald Pelling, effigy of the Lord Regent. Sentenced to three years imprisonment at Coleridge, Beatrice Gould, collection of animal skulls carved with pictographic sigils, home confiscated. Charles Hanley, Book of Rituals, home and property seized, banished to the flooded district. Ah. Ooh, that dude circles around. Did you know? I'll have you know that dude circles around. So we're going to have to render Campbell unconscious, take him to the branding thing. Huh? What the? I need... Oh my god. Okay. 
gathered it. I, it's unfortunate. That was unfortunate. I thought I was, like, nicely in the dark. Um, no. <laughs> unfortunately not. I, th I thought I was in the dark nicely. So now they will all sleep. Des deposition from Mary Wallace. I smelled a peculiar stench coming from Agatha's window one night. As I looked in the window, I saw her burning over a fire of bones of something small along with clumps of hair. On several evenings as I came home from work, I saw Agatha peering at me unnaturally from behind the curtains. On the fifth day, I felt a pain in my stomach upon approaching her home. Agatha Harcourt. Agatha's home was searched, several outlawed items were found, and Agatha was caught as she attempted to flee from the back door. Interrogation yielded little of use. Home and property seized for the Abbey. Remains cremated. A witch. I need to stock up on these arrows. The movements of Corvo Atano. Known movements returned after an official deployment of roughly two months. After departure from Gristal, mission included stops at other major isles at the behest of the Empress Jessamine Coldwin. Arrived bearing ill news, immediately apprehended for a murder. Last confirmed sighting is entered sewers under Coldridge Prison after escaping execution under unusual circumstances. Testimony from citizenry trade over. Uh, confidence is moderate, unconfirmed, person matching subject's description seen conversing with unknown woman near front gates of the Academy of National Philosophy, Benjamin Harraby, person matching subject's description seen fraternizing with other Oxherds just outside the city, Charlotte Cannonhead, overhead conversation implying one of the parties involved had knowledge of subject, and suspected alliances, none known, recommendation, search of the estate district based on subject's prior position of authority, privilege. Wonderful. Now I think we've dealt with three guards in here and can make our way back out to the meeting room. The second stricture restrict the lying tongue that is like a spark in the heathen's mouth. It is such a little thing, yet from one spark an entire city may burn to the ground. Better to live a life of silence than unleash a stream of untruth. The echoes of lies come back as the voice of the outsider. Blood. Oh, this is the torture chamber? This is where we'll carry the guy, okay. So, let's do a save. Mm -hmm. In case this gets messy, we'll turn off that alarm, shall we? The meeting chamber. I hear the watch is having trouble holding the side streets. A bunch of children playing games, that's all. Good, good. Ooh, switch poison to Campbell's side. No. Combine the two, gl two glasses, poison both. Spill the glasses or walk away. Ah, okay. Well, we don't want to poison either of them. We'll do the non lethal route. Very concerned about her. She'll be found. My men are searching district by district. The poor girl. The list is a resourceful one. Probably found a safe place to hole up in all this chaos. If my overseer's here anywhere, I'll come straight to you. Time for drinks. I hope you won't refuse. It'll make this business pass all the quicker. Here they come. As the bell tolls. The assassin lingers. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Mm, not that one. I could quickly jump out of here and escape. <laughs> but that's only if we're taking the lethal route. 
which would probably be the easier way to do things. Men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained in the meantime. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. What a... who's been in here? I owe you an apology, Captain. This is hardly the hospitality I planned for you. Well, time to do this the hard way. What was that, Campbell? Never mind. It's a stroke of luck for you, Captain. Oh. ...to break out the real vintage. Leave the men here. But we'll have to share with all of them. <laughs> Very well, Campbell. As long as we get this little dispute settled. Ooh. Okay. Poison wine has been interrupted. I have to get them both, though. We're following. Following closely. Oh, they're getting, they're going very far from where I need to take them. Oh, and there's another guard here too. Oh no, this is not we good. A prowler on the loose. <coughs> oh, hello. Oh. Probably rats. Nasty things are in yep. everything. Probably rats, guys. Oh, guys, you're going so far away from where I need to take you. Hmm. Where are they going? I know you're somewhere around here. Damn, Campbell gets like straight to it and he like freaks out and gets me immediately. Wow. For some reason, what I was trying to do there and what I felt like I almost got away with was like taking him and I was going to carry him away and then Campbell would have been like, uh, not Campbell, Kerno would have been none the wiser. <laughs> God damn it. Ooh. Is this where they were going? Damn, maybe I should have waited to let them actually go in here. Oh, and this was where we were paying attention to this. Okay. This is cool. The Fugue Feast. Um, we've read that before. A cemetery of High Overseer Thaddeus Campbell. Look, it's the, uh, the, the, look, the bottle isn't there. Even though it was on the painting originally, it's been taken off because we picked up the bottle. That's funny. I'll get 300 coins for that. God, you live like this? Look at all of this. Yeah, and the... <laughs> Love it. My girls. Campbell, not sure how my predecessor operated, but from now on, if one of my girls tries to blackmail you, you can send her back to me at the Golden Cat instead of concocting some plan on your own. I've had to replace three girls in as many months, and you can imagine the business of carnal pleasure isn't booming in this plague-stricken hole you call a city. Madam Prudence. Damn. Um, maybe I, we should have let uh, Campbell go down here with Kerno and have a conversation before, you know, he would have tried to, like, kill him, I assume. But that's okay. Yeah. The rune, Litany on the White Cliff. Excerpt from a series of Overseer Invocations by High Overseer Abram Templeton. And I say to you, brothers, it is here that we make our stand as a righteous force against the growing darkness. It is here that we unite against the spirits of the unknown that would drag us screaming into the night, never to return to our homes, to our families. Together we will serve as a rod to those who would stray from the herd for the foggy grey wastes of the outsider. We will burn a bright fire with our virtuous actions so that others will not lose their way. And to those who choose to wander beyond the walls of our homes in far places, we will strike at them swiftly before they whisper to their neighbors, filling their hearts with strangeness and doubt. Only five out of seven. We're missing 
two other runes. All right, Campbell. Misery everywhere. Such corruption, such hypocrisy. Make me look on it no more. I will be glad to rest. Hey. And then there's an audiograph here as well. Curse those fools at Coldridge for letting Corvo get away. Who knows what the man could do now? Hiram, or the Lord Regent, as he asks us to call him now, seems to have faith in all the Sokolov security devices he's put up all over the city, but I'm not so sure. At least the girl has been moved to a safe place. Visiting her twice a week has given me ample opportunity to inspect the facilities, as they say. So there's an upside. No. Okay. So I thought this was going to be just the kennels, but very smart of it to also be a secret location just at the, fr uh, at the back here. Once they're brought here, they never leave. The Elf Seers always find the guild they see. Where have the overseas gone? They wade through chest-high waters with their hounds. Somewhere near, a man has just taken his last breath. His eyes are still open. Okay, I've got two sleep darts. That dude is still just chilling. Someone's over there. All right, we've taken care of two guards up here that are that ran up. So. We may be able to safely take our boy here to the chamber. <coughs> Get to the interrogation room chair. I know you're here. Look out. We got someone skulking around. Oh, okay. People are searching. There's people down there, but I think I am safe in here. Okay. Here we are. Okay, let's strap you down, buddy. In you go. Hello, sir. Now. <clears throat> We're going to find the Heretic's brand in the interrogation room. Let us take a look here. Oh, it looks to be over there. Wonderful. Okay, this is not going to hurt a bit, my boy, but maybe a little. Maybe a little. Okay, we are going to blink over there. Whoop. Oh god, they can just watch from here. The Great Trials, excerpt from an Overseer's Findings by High Overseer Tynan Wallace. Spending two years in the company of heretics, the insane, and those rare black-hearted villains who are truly practitioners of magic, I can say with truth that I have seen such things as to break the minds of most. While the trials and burnings weigh heavily upon my heart, I must chronicle what has been a unique opportunity to witness the multifarious perversions that the outsider bestows upon those who seek his black counsel. Many of those we faced were accused of bewitching their neighbors or family, controlling them from afar, or even walking around in their skins. And I have seen this with my own eyes as one woman slid into the form of another, prowling unseen until a vigilant overseer struck down both the witch and her host. That's the possessive uh, magic there. Others detailed herein were found to stand in two places seemingly at once or to vanish from one place and appear in another. Good old blink. Our work was dire, we knew, for if the followers of the outsider can truly inhabit the skin of another or move from place to place like the wind, then how can we hope to erect walls to keep him out? It was these trials that first led us to investigate barriers beyond the physical. On branding heretics, the heretic brand is reserved for those overseers who have committed heinous acts, heinous acts uh, against the order. Uh, we read this already. This is the brand, okay. What we have is a man, aged 30 perhaps, slender, 
Unusual tattooing on the face and chest. Probably superstitious heresy. Wearing some sort of industrial mask when we brought him in. Stolen out of one of the whaling factories from the look of it. You're one of Dowd's men, aren't you? Caught at last? Give us a name, at least. What's wrong with his eyes? Opium? Laudanum? Are you with us? What's he doing? Some kind of fit? He's gone. Here it is. A pin. Hidden in one of his gloves. Subject has administered some kind of poison. The effects seem to have been lethal. Damn. Eliminate High Overseer Campbell. Non-lethal with the brand. Is there someone right here? The footsteps feel very close. Alright, we're gonna stay in this room instead uh, of wasting mana to check if he's there. We'll just do this. Okay, now, Overseer, you ready? Campbell breaks all seven strictures each day. It's his own little joke. I think that's worth a brand, don't you? Ouchie, ouchie. Ouchie, ouchie. Target neutralized, but non-lethal. There's his burn. Wow. God damn. All right, time for us to get out of here to Samuel the Boatman. Uh, there's also a safe location. Hang on. Oh, is this where to... Oh, take Captain Kono's body to a safe location. Fuck. Okay, I've got to, I have to finish the job. Oh, that's funny. Okay, um, all right. This is going to be interesting. When I find you, it's going to be bad. Mark, to me! <laughs> I know you're here somewhere, <laughs> Damn, okay, so I know you're here. Gotta go down to the body. Someone get over here. Get behind it. Oh, what the fuck? Bring the alarm. Get around. Oh, what? Jesus. Okay. Um Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Um very unexpected. The way that he turned around, it didn't do like the thing where his he was like, ah, alarm, like with like the lightning bolts around his head. Um, so that's my bad. <laughs> and then when one finds you, they all just kind of swarm you. Um, it's okay. That's the way out to Samuel the Boatman. But of course, we have to do something else here. Get this man and get him to a safe location. Now, oy, this is going to be interesting. What I think we might do is go out the window of the room, the meeting room, and we'll blink our way down and do it this way. It's a good thing that we've been stacked full of sleep arrows because we have needed them. I feel like we've made some pretty uh, understandable first time mistakes. Oh, we can go to Sam this way, too. Alright, this is the way that we're going. Now, if I do this, I should be able to go down here.
Okay, this is actually close to where Sam is. So I won't have to go back in, I think. Oh man, this is tense. Okay, here we go. Oh no, rescued! There he is. Okay. <clears throat> right. And now we can go here. Lovely. Imagine if we had to go back. Imagine if we had to go all the way back in. Okay, to the backyard. There we go. To the backyard. Alright. But I guess we'll be entering the backyard at a different location. She's my sister. She's not a witch. I know her. Oh, damn. Okay. Fuck. Um, and they have one bolt. So hold on. Out of the way. You expect preferential treatment just because you are her brother? She will burn. All witches must burn. Bertold, don't let them take me. I swear <laughs> I've done nothing wrong. Silence your lying tongue, foul witch. Guard, come in. Oh, they're fighting. Die, idiot. Don't go for me. I'll read signs from your entrails. Damn it. Is he gonna get her? You appeared as if from nowhere. We would both be dead if not for you. We are forever in your debt. I oh. cannot thank you enough. I must get... Oh, he won the fight. I thought it was the other guy. I thought the other guy was the brother and he just got killed and I was like, that's why I went, oh no. Um, He won the fight on his own. He's like, we'd be dead if not for you. My sister to safety. <laughs> First, I may know of a way to thank you. There's a safe in the bunkhouse. The combination is two, zero, three. Take what you want, and good luck. Nice. Okay. Um, well, I guess I did help the by taking out one of the other ones. Was that the safe that was, like, really far back? We saw a safe. And then we didn't find a, a code to it. I actually forgot about it. Is that what he was? the one that he was talking about? So if I go all the way back to that place, I can go and open that safe. That's so far, though. I don't know what we'll... F I'd assume we'd find, like, a decent amount of coin and stuff. But I think I'm okay to not backtrack all that way. This has already been, like, a massive mission <laughs> already. We can go this way, though. love being able to see all of these uh, pathways that we can take up on high. Yeah, this has been a massive undertaking already. <laughs> so I'm okay to skip a safe. Continues. Now I've got to go this way, and we've got hounds. Maybe the bunkhouse is over here. Oh, yes. And we got rune bone charm. Ah. Uh, that's over the other side. Damn. Um, <laughs> and this plate, this, uh, this bone charm is in another location entirely. Oh, 
leave that bone charm behind then I suppose but we do want this rune which is like right here hmm. uh, let's try get in this that might be worth checking out Exploding hounds. Bartholomew, I've seen the harnesses you've been devising in that workshop of yours. If you plan to strap explosives to my precious hounds and make living bombs out of them, you can cap me out of your plan. I'm the master of the hounds here, and without my training, they'll never do as you request. Damn. I try to make explosive. Music box. Overseer Humphrey, I left you a copy of the ancient music, so you might familiarize yourself with the principles I'm employing in this latest variation of Holger's device, or the music box, as the men call it. As you should know, it produces harmonies that render heretical energies or magic inert through counterbalancing mathematical principles. Read the book, and then make yourself useful by finding some subjects to test it on. This city is choked with corruption and superstition, so I trust you won't have to look far. Wow. <clears throat> That's interesting. I won't even test that, because it might work. I think we're alone in here. The Metaphysica Mysterium. It is said that we should not sully our hands when combating the forces of the void. My studies have been deemed heretical by my brothers, but the rewards have been invaluable. I have harnessed the same energies employed by the outsider and his accursed followers while avoiding their corruption. I will prescribe a twofold method in this text. Indirection. As the unwholesome powers of the outsider use living flesh as a conduit, we can avoid being tainted by using the flesh of others instead. Containment. By using channels and barriers, we can focus these void energies into a raw state, shielding them from the perverse uh, perspectives of the outsider. Placement valve. Humphrey, would you see to it that this valve gets installed in that little supply depot by the loading docks? My men have been grumbling about this thing what, for what months? Must be months now. As if there were anything of value on the other side of that door it's supposed to open. Keep quelling problems like this for me and you just might make apprentice. Where am I putting this thing, lad? Concerning the crossbows. Campbell, we initially thought it was a great find when we came across some of the crossbows that the assassins had been using to harry our patrols. The models we found, however, have proven lacking. Dowd's men have greater accuracy and range, and I swear theirs reload faster. I'm recommending that we stick with pistols and sabers. Count this as a lesson in where our strengths lie. Any sleepy ones? It looks like a, this is a hose, but it was like, I'm like, there's a valve going there. I'm trying to look for where you where you would turn a, a valve. Uh. Throughout the natural world, there are ripples that we can barely perceive with our senses, and ancient music permeating everything is a fundamental structural rule. Through it, you can work wonders without violating the natural world or begging favors from unfriendly spirits. Throughout my studies, I found a 17-note scale derived from this phenomenon, and with the right equipment, those notes allow for astonishing effects. Not the least of these is the ability to calm the turbulence originating in the void for which we attribute to the outsider. Alright, maybe I do have to use it. Fade. We cannot doubt the effectiveness of Holger's device, or the mathematical beauty of the music itself. We've seen it in action against the forbidden practices too many times to deny it. But the question no one wishes to ask is, is the incantation itself black magic? The boxes are priceless, but what's inside? 
um, there was an unusual bottle with a key in it, and um, the key disappeared. But I think we also have the key already, because it's probably the storage key, maybe? Maybe that's why it disappeared. Ooh, it worked. Disoriented by the Overseer device, magic will not work. Ooh, there you go. Uh, confirmation that it works, by the way. Oh, this is the safe in the bunkhouse. What do you say? 205? Which means there was another safe that we have not figured out. It was a safe we found earlier. Oh man, all this stuff in the post. Be warned. Bert Hold, I found one of our brothers attempting to put a package in the post boxes for the others to find. I believe it to be the evidence of your sister's involvement in witchcraft you spoke to me about. I attempted to stop him, but he insisted I would burn for her crimes if I was attempting to cover her deeds. You should warn her. See if the two of you can flee the city before they reach her. Your friend and brother. We miss you. Dear Harold, don't generally do this, but I came across a letter your parents sent when you were first taken to Whitecliff. Remember that we have rules in place to spare you the decision of trying to make contact with them. We can no longer walk among those we seek to protect. If you would at least read this letter to him, Though your motives may be just, we know he's probably scared right now, and we are unable to be there for him. Son, we miss you. We're so sorry we can't come to you now. We'll take you from wherever they've stolen you away. Be strong, son. We know you will see your way through. Please remember us and try to find us when you're free. We love you, Mama and Papa. Last night. Wyndham, last night was wonderful. I am right at this moment imagining your arms around me and your breath on my neck. I feared for our lives when your fellow overseers found us, but you proved resourceful and all, as always. And no, I won't take your slurs and threats personally, for I know you were merely trying to throw off any suspicions they might have had of us. I hope to see you again soon, perhaps in two nights when you have leave once more. Darian. Final warning. Edmund, it has come to my attention that you know where my sanctum is. If I catch you loitering by the statue of Holger again, hoping to run into and perhaps liaise with one of my guests, I'll have you branded a heretic and cast out of the city. Damn. Mission clue added. Where is the safe? Here it is. Um, 205? Ah, oh, 204. It looks like it was, it did 204. We got two sleep darts. Recite the seven scriptures. I will make it fast. What is... Restrict the wandering eyes that look hither and yonder for some flashing thing. Oh, okay. What brings calamity in the next? Yeah. Uh. Okay. Rat! Damn you! Ah, oh, there's something to read there. This is the the pain of trying to like get all like the lore and stuff. Things are bad. Could the city get in? Apprenticeship. Hi, Artificer Bartholomew. I'd appreciate it if you consider promoting me to your apprentice formally, so that I might work with you full time. Yes. Bartholomew, I'm sick of mopping your floors and dusting your shelves. All this in hopes of receiving the crumbs of knowledge that you cast my way. If you think I'm going to wait for him around forever? Hi, Artificer. I was visited by Holger himself in my dreams last night. He told me that I was to do great works for the Abbey, to cast out darkness where I find it, to help arm my brothers with weapons that I reach beyond the physical and into the very heart of the Outsider. I think that I am ready for this task. Dear Hi, Artificer, this is in regards to my being chosen for the position of your apprentice. If you don't mind, I would appreciate it if you looked at my record of service after the last several months. You will find that I have been... <laughs> I love that. I love that there's like multiple copies and attempts. It's so good. Oh, the body is gone. Vanished.
Young Prince of Tivia. Lord Nathan Bale, shaking without rage. Ah, oh, we watched that. Uh, watched it? Read it. Yes, I've watched that play. We read that one. So that's done. Good thing there's nobody in here. Oh, hello, doggy. Hello, doggy. Doggy is sleeping. Looks to be just food in here. Some coins. There's a book. Customs of food in Morley. Born and raised in Bristol, I spent my formative years in our smaller cities before settling in magnificent Dunwall. There, the capital city, I learned to apprentice the finer things. Appreciate the finer things, in fact. When the opportunity arose to document my travels to Sir Kodos, Tivia, and finally Morley, I left my position as a clerk for the late Lord Estamont. Perhaps, like so many in Dunwall, I suffer from being excessively cultured, but I found Morley disappointing. Over the course of this journal, I will explain why I found the Festival of Churners to be tiresome, despite the high banners, bare feet, and red robes. And why their renowned jelly ox tongue is something I'll be struggling to forget for many years to come. It was tiresome. The feet was nice, though. Good toes, you know? Oh, doggy boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. How interesting that with a dog finding me... That also does alert the uh, the other authorities as well. Okay, it does look like it's chilled. Okay, I think it relaxed. Luckily. But we did wake up a dog. <clears throat> right, there's our way out. Something that I take comfort in is the fact that there are multiple copies of the same books to find. So if we do miss any readings, there are obviously more that we can uh, take in, which is nice. Now, I think this looks to be the entrance that we would have taken. That makes sense. That would have been the entrance that we were going to take. took a different path. And I think we've reached the end. This has been a very substantial, uh, a very substantial mission, that's for sure. Alright, um, let's see about getting this bone charm, shall we? Oh, so you're on the other side. All right, cool. Anyone in here? Hope not. Because I'm making noise. Nice. Oh, hello. Day, day 15, month of timber. I managed to steal away one of the charms they were smashing in warehouse A. Smashing them. Such beautiful and powerful things. My brothers have no idea. They'll never find me back here, though. Nobody ever comes back here. I can break up the door if they'll find me. It's all mine. Damn. And uh, you died. Call to the Spheres, Volume 1. Um, we read that already. Okay. Now, I finished this mission knowing that we didn't do absolutely everything. There is clearly some pathways and things to do, but that's the thing. Play your way. You do multiple different directions. There's so much to encounter. Uh, we've turned, like, one mission... Uh, into such a significant multi-hour adventure. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy how much that we've done. And that is just such a tragic sight, seeing that, that whale up like that. So sad. But it is time. I believe we have earned ourselves uh, some leave. Mystery. Everywhere. I see Sam. He's waiting for us. To Samuel the Boatman. Sorry, Bone Charm. We'll have to leave you to another day. Ah, 
I'm coming, Sam. It's a very long chain rope. Nice. I made it. Hey, Corvo. It's Samuel. I'm here. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty bosh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Yes, take me back to the Houndspits pub. Okay, let's go. We did it, baby! Mission complete. We saved Kerno. Branded Campbell. We found six out of seven runes, four out of five bone charms. We got an outside a shrine. We got a circle of painting, and there was many many coins not found um there was two hostiles killed we rescued griff we branded campbell's a heretic we saved captain kono and saved elsa from zealous overseers now two hostiles killed hmm. we accidentally killed one with the explosive device Second one, however, I'm struggling to remember. But there we go. We did it. Mission complete. Uh, thank you so, so much for joining me today for this episode of Dishonored. It was a substantial mission and a lot of fun. I had a, had a great time. Uh, super, super enjoyable. Just seeing the game open up for us and like showing us the pathways that we can take. And there's just like so much world building and environmental storytelling that it makes me just want to like eat it all up. And I want to see everything that this game has to show, at least as much as I can discover naturally, you know, without having to have a guide of like, where do I find all the stuff? Like missing stuff is natural, you know, but we found quite a significant amount of things and I feel quite satisfied with that mission. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Dishonored. Hope you had a great time watching and I'll see you next time.